human failings led to the great flood. Wrong choices, wrong decisions. After Noah, a new beginning and a promise for Abraham. God has spoken to me. He will lead us to a new home. He has promised descendants as numerous as the stars. To help the Israelites fulfill the promise, God sent Moses to free them from slavery. Lord! Joshua led them into the promised land. But the Israelites faced brutal opposition from the Philistines. Some dare to fight back. But not even Samson could overcome them. There is no the prophet Samuel led the Israelites in God's name. But the people wanted more. Someone to lead them in battle. What do you want? A king. A king? They become tyrants! Not if they are chosen by God. Saul, I anoint you the first king of Israel. May I, as God's prophet, help you in any way I can. But is any man good enough to rule God's kingdom? Make a sacrifice before we attack. We cannot wait any longer. Saul, <laughs> may God forgive you! Samuel, where were you? Seven days we have waited. Seven days. My men are deserting. Then be a king. Leave the job of priest to me. Do you think God values your sacrifice more than mine? Samuel. God instructs you. Kill everyone and everything. A new era in Israelite history is beginning period of prophets and kings. They must work together to secure the promised land. His commands. And what is this bleating of goats in my ears? What is this lowing of cattle and wailing of lambs? Can the dead cry out? And who is this pagan king? He is to be put to death later. When the Lord says spare, you spare. When he says kill, Samuel! You are our prophet. I am your king. What the Lord gives, you can take away. Are these God's words or yours? Your descendants could have ruled for over a thousand years. Did 
day. God has forsaken you. More divine words. God has torn your power from you. He wants a man after his own heart. <laughs> <laughs>